कर वैष्णव ठाकुर कृपा कर वैष्णव ठाकुर कृपा कर वैष्णव ठाकुर संबंध जानिया भजते भजते अभिमान
संसार दुख चरद से पति से काम क्रोधादि आनंद लीला मया विग्रहाय हेमा दिव्य छवि सुंदराय तस्मे महा प्रेम रस प्रदाय चैतन्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपीकांत राधाकांत नमोस्तुते 
तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी विश्वभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय भक्त्या विहीनाय अपराध लक्ष्य शिवत कामे कृपा मयी तम शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नमस्ते वृंदे नमस्ते चरणिंदम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिवा सनि गौर भक्त वृंद और तो देता है बोल हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे टुडे इज अगेन अ वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे टू ग्रेट आचार्यस and this prominent disciples of chila bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur prabhupad shri narhari seva vigraha prabhu and shri shri man bhakti vaibhav puri goswami maharaj hmm. i don't know if any of you have seen him or not Have you have anyone? Pictures, mm-hmm. photo. Mm-hmm. You saw? Very nice. Thank you. So, just like I was <coughs> saying yesterday, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes, he brings his associates and his dham. Similarly. very dear associate of shri chatare mahaprabhu shri shiva bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur prabhupad when he was been sent by shri chatare mahaprabhu to this planet he also brought his associates with him shri chatare mahaprabhu came and he brought his dham and his associates because he needs some assistance in distributing that very rare krishna prem dhan the wealth of krishna prem because that's the generosity of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he is giving this opportunity to his associates also to distribute this this is a very special mercy of one who is complete and when he exhibit incompleteness this is a big siddhant if the complete one always keep in mind i am complete we will left with nothing it is just because that all truth all complete one exhibit incompleteness we get little chance to serve krishna you getting my point and this is the word described by described in sandarbhas the meaning of the word anukampa compassion what is compassion anukampa cha purna smin swasmin seva dikash sampadaka seva kadishu sevya subhadya sampadaka bhagavat artamai tad upkar icha the soul definition is the the soul words describe the definition of the word anukampa means compassion in short it means one who is complete 
He is showing incompleteness. For what reason? To give this opportunity to the associates, his own associates, the opportunity of service. And what they drive by this, they extract bliss by serving the Supreme Lord. And by seeing the bliss in them, the Supreme get blissful. Understand? That's Anukampa, compassion. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he brought Sri Navdeep Dham with him and he brought his associates with him. And in the same line, Sri Chaitanya Sri Bhakti Siddhan Saswit Thakur Prabhupada, he brought associates with him and he brought seva with him. Mahaprabhu came to distribute that premadham. Śrīla Prabhupāda came to teach us how to attain that premadham. Understand? Śrī Chaitanya Mahaprabhu without any qualification, seeing any qualification, pātra apātra vicharam na kurute na cham param vikshati. Without seeing any qualification or disqualification, without any consideration, he distributed this. Uh, very rare, attainable, uh, Krishna Prem. But how to get that and to touch the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He needs some practice, some sadhana. Otherwise, Srila Gurudev used to give example, the milk of she lion is very hot. And if we keep in any container of any metal, cannot hold that. It make hole and fall on the ground. Only gold uh, is capable to hold that milk of she lion is that hot. So he's comparing this Krishna Prem is the milk of she lion. It's very, it's had so much potency. It's not that easy. So if we, oh, it's easy to say, uh, I want Krishna Prem, I want Krishna Prem. If Krishna Prem is given to us, we can't hold those ecstasies. We become crazy and mad. So by performing a service mood, sorry, by having the service mode, by performing service, we are gathering that capability to hold those, uh, to hold that Krishna Prem. So a recipient is required to hold that. And that is Seva. Seva to Hari, Guru and Vishnu. Srila Prabhupada came and he encouraged, inspired his associates to go and distribute this service attitude to the people in masses. So that they should know how to serve Mahaprabhu. How to serve Mahaprabhu. How to serve Vaishnavas. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he took two important points from four acharyas. The four sampradayas, Sri Brahma Rudra Sanak. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he took two aspects from all, from four acharyas. From Madhvacharya, Sri Ramanujacharya, Sri Vishnu Swami, Sri Nimbadipti. Two aspects from all the four acharyas. And from Sri Ramanujacharya, a very important aspect is Vaishnava Seva. So why I'm saying this? When Srila Prabhupada came with associates, they all are so much potent enough to deliver the whole universe. Brahman Tarite Shakti Dhare Jare Jane. Each and every personality can deliver the whole universe. They're so powerful. So Srila Prabhupada he invoked all his associates 
थ्रू श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु नॉट बींग एक्टिंग इंडिपेंडेंटली देयर द मूड ऑफ कंप्लीट सरेंडरनेस and this is we see in his act of chanting 100 billion holy name when he was chanting those hari naam and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and his authorities shri bhakti thakur and gaur krishna baba ji maharaj appeared in front of him see the words of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu i have not sent you here for chanting to do nirjan bhajan isolated bhajan i send you for preaching and with such a humble mood she bhakti siddhan prabhu with humble mood he could have said yes ma prabhu you bless me i deliver the holy names but that's not the standard when we come to our authorities shri prabhu pad his action his words everything is preaching So what he said, Shri Prabhu said, "How can I preach without man and money? For preaching, we need man and money." Then Mahaprabhu said, "I will send you my own man to assist you in your preaching." This clearly shows Shri Prabhu invoked his associates, not independently but through Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We call them all our associates of Mahaprabhu. to expand the service mood and then what to speak of whose name has this title narhari seva vigraha prabhu very prominent disciple of shila prabhupad who joined shila prabhupad in the beginning of prabhupad's <coughs> preaching movement speaking about bhakti siddhant sosi thakur prabhupad in 1916 1915 wow yes when shri prabhupad he wanted to introduce <coughs> krishna consciousness everywhere then gradually young very smart intellectual boys got attracted and they joined him yeah. so among the beginners the pioneer of those who came to shila prabhupad in the mission of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu our param guru dev shri shivan bhakti pragyan keshav goswami maharaj and his very very dear god brother shri narhari seva vigraha prabhu they are the beginners man shri prabhupad was only having handful of like three four devotees around him his associates around him and he was so confident that this message of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu will go length and breadth of the whole world very confident because once upon a time it was been asked to him how are you going to fulfill your mission there is no one around you and shri prabhu was so confidently said he can do this means he pointing to towards our param guru dev shri bhakti pragyan keshav goswami so there are some acharyas who are in front scene and there are some acharyas who are behind the scenes and they are equally important we acknowledge those who are in front line understand but there are so many who are behind the scenes behind the curtains and their contribution is equally important If we go in deep into each and every, every disciple of Shri Prabhupada's contribution in making this mission successful, and now, nowadays we are getting fruit of those austerities and hardships of those acharyas. We are getting those fruits without any endeavors. It's so simple, and we are finding this so difficult. We want to eat that fruit. Understand? very nice prasadam is served to us and even we are so lazy and even crazy to even eat that and finding it so difficult to taste but 
Mahaprabhu. They are the one who did so hard endeavors to bring up this mission of Mahaprabhu up to this standard, where everything is available. Centers are there, books are there, preachers are there, uh, audio books are there, everything online, YouTube lectures are there. See, as technology grows, uh, mission is also growing. Easily, easy accessible. But we need that inspiration, the fire to lit in our heart. And for that we need preachers in person who can give us inspiration to understand this. So Sri Narhari Seva Vigra Prabhu took over all the services of the first center of Srila Prabhupada in Mayapur, in Sri Nam Mayapur, Sri Chaitanya Math. Srila Prabhupada said, I am so relieved <coughs> if Narhari is there to look after Chaitanya Math, I have no other worries. Because in center there are so many services to deities and all the areas, all the departments in the center, taking care of deities and taking care of, most important, taking care of the devotees. So Narhari Seva Vigra Prabhu was like mother. He was titled as mother of Chaitanya Mahat. My Guru Maharaj, in a in a letter on the disappearance day of Param Guru Dev, Sri Bhakti Pradyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, addressing him with so much love and so much dedication, addressing him as, you are my senior god brother, and our purpose to visit Chaitanya Mat Sri Dham Mayapur is only and only to see you and Narhari Seva Vikra Prabhu. My Guru Maharaj is writing this. Because you both are life of Sri Chaitanya Mahat. Understand? Life of Sri Chaitanya Mahat. And if you both are not there, the mud feels like empty. There is no one. Even though deities are there, even though devotees are there, services are there, but without you both, the mud feels so empty. And Guru Maharaj used to cry. Uh, since you left this planet, your younger brother feeling separation from you. Yeah. And similarly, this verse he applied to Sri Nadhari Seva Vikra Prabhu, who used to serve everyone, nurturing all devotees like mother. You know, just like mother, taking care of all devotees as the children. So, because of that, and uh, because of so many services, and taking care of everyone, he uh, was not taking care of his health because he only used to sleep two hours, one hour or three hours in 24 hours. That's all. Because he took over all the areas of the center, all the services. <coughs> yeah which was very challenging in those days. Srila Param Guru Dev was busy in protecting Srila Mayapur from the clutches of Muslims and many other who are opposite, uh, uh, jealous of the mission of Srila Prabhupada. But Sri Nagari Seva Vigra Prabhu, very simple, very polite, very calm in nature, taking care of every necessity, taking care of necessity of every individual in the center. What he likes, what he don't like, etc. On the top of that, fulfilling the instruction of Prabhupada to chant 64 rounds a day. And whole day he's busy, whole day he's busy. And now he has to complete his rounds. So he used to tie his shikhar, his, with some hook on the wall, on the roof. <laughs> because definitely if someone is tired, anyone is tired, and if you chant, especially when chanting, you get very good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to sleep. 
So he used to tie this shita on the top. So that uh, while chanting, if I fall asleep, if my head goes down, <laughs> understand? And, uh, and in this way, Mangalarti is 4.30 in the morning. He needs to complete his rounds. Uh, he can't function without completing his rounds. So sometimes 12, sometimes 1, sometimes 2 o'clock. He completes his round, his services, and again he start next day. And because of that, not taking care of his health, sometimes not eating at all, sometimes, you know, different timings of eating and sleep, his health was going down and down and down. And because of that, Srila Gurudev used to say, because of that, he got very, very severe, intense diarrhea. He was not able to digest anything because his, everything got shrunk, his intestines got very weak. Because not caring of his body. No sleeping, no eating. Your body will that, you know, we need those things. But Seva was his pran, his life away. Seva. Can't live without Seva. At the time of Srila Gurudev also, Gurudev used to inspire all his devotees. Engage your life in Seva. No matter if you are a grasta, family, person, brahmachari or sannyasi. Doesn't matter. Everyone is supposed to take some responsibility, Srila Gurudev used to say. If you are not taking responsibility, you are not human being, Srila Gurudev said. Because Gurudev is used to say, animals, they are not responsible for anything. They are free life. Whereas we are not only human beings, we are devotees. More than human beings. Human beings have so much responsibility, how much we as devotees should have responsibilities. So taking responsibility means taking a seva. Whatever we can with our capacity. And even what we, whatever we can with our capacity, but these acharyas, they went out of their capacity to serve without taking care of their health. Understand? So we have to think, what is my contribution in the service of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? What is my contribution in this mission? I am getting so much. If you are not giving something in back, you will be ungrateful. Uh, ungrateful. I give you one example. I was in Holland years back. And it was, you know, the devotees there, they planned evening kirtan on 31st December. And around midnight, 12 o'clock, some kids, they went, after program was over, they went out and they were doing fireworks and all. And everyone was enjoying. So next day, early, I mean, the next morning, those kids have to also sweep and clean the road <laughs> because they all become mess. And there was a the tall guy came from like say six, seven house far from that house where I was staying. He also came with a broom and he started cleaning. So my devotees asked those kids, they asked, Sir, uh, why you are helping me, helping us here? He said, because it was very good last night. Fireworks. And me and my family was also enjoying from our window. He said, so? He said, because if we are enjoying, if I am enjoying with my family, I am also supposed to help you clean. Otherwise, I will be ungrateful. You see? Did he become a devotee? Huh? He is a devotee, actually. He is not devotee. He is an ordinary person. But I am just telling how he felt, you see the mood, otherwise I'll be ungrateful because I enjoy. If I enjoy something, I need to pay. 
So let me help you. And he cleaned. Two hours, he cleaned. All sweet, everything. This is an ordinary person, but we can understand so kind heart. We feel that gratitude. Similarly, we are getting so much from the from Vaishnavas. We are getting so much from Gurudev. We are getting so much from the preachers. We got so much from the Goswamis. So many lectures and so much informations. And there is so much transformations because of those informations. Uh, gradually, uh, coming close to Krishna, gradually, by practicing. But all this practicing and all this inspiration and all these changes in our life happened because of our Acharyas. Who contributed their life, not their money, but their life in the mission of Sri Chaitanya Brahm, Mahaprabhu without caring for their health, their eating, their sleeping and whatever it is. Understand? That's what Srila Guru used to say. I am traveling everywhere not to get something from you but to give you something. To pour uh, water in that desert like heart. Otherwise this plant will be dry. I will die one day. So, so much hard endeavors, even in his advanced age. And similarly, Srila Bhakti Vaibha Puri Goswami Maharaj. In his advanced age, traveling around the world, watering that, uh, that seed which is planted. This is called Seva. This is called Seva Vritti, tendency of service. If we have not that, See, don't mind, it's not my words. Gurudev used to say, you are not human being. You have no heart. You are not kind. Uh, ungrateful. Every individual who is practicing Krishna consciousness and getting so much to know about Krishna and Mahaprabhu is responsible to contribute something in the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Contribution is not only finance or money. According to one's qualification, contribution as oh, what? Even practicing is also contribution. Preaching is contribution. Whatever you can, anything, but must do. Otherwise, you are not rational. If there is no service mode, what is left then? Nothing. Gurudev's godmother, Srila Bhaktivedan Vamun Goswami Maharaj, and I have also seen in Srila Bhakti Vidyan Bharti Goswami Maharaj, he used to tell us, if you are going around preaching and devotees hosting you, don't become burden on them. Whatever is necessity, uh, for your survival. Up till that point is fine. But don't go, go beyond that because we go in their house to serve them, not to get served by them. And this is very sweet relationship between everyone. You serve me, I serve you. That's a service mode. So, our way of service is different, their way of service is different, but we all actually serve you. We, sh we should not, we are not supposed to live without service. Just whatever is needed to maintain your life, only that, up till that point, pass. Don't cross that line. Otherwise, if you serve someone means, you sacrifice. If someone is serving me, I am sacrificing some of my right. I am giving some of my sukritis to that person. <coughs> Understand? And if you're serving, taking all sukritis, the what will left with me? I'm losing all my dollars. All my piety, all pious activities, everything is gone. So in return, I also have to serve to maintain my own sukritis, my own bhajan. Yeah. So there are different ways of serving. Speaking Hari Katha is service. Hearing Hari Katha is service. Arranging program is service. 
Hosting program is service. Taking care of everyone is service. So Srila Bhakti Vidhan Vaman Gosai Mara used to teach and Srila Bhati Gosai Mara used to tell us never leave what to speak of a center even a family, a grasta, householder, uh, house never leave that place without contributing something in service even if it is cleaning or whatever it is Srila Bhati Gosai Mara used to say he said I never learned this in my life that makes you feel so strong and you bright in your aura. You have not seen Srila Bhakti Vidhan Mahmud Gosai Maharaj, but I am giving you a personal example. What I have seen in him. Wherever he used to go, sometimes he used to visit in very poor uh, house, poor family very small, humble cottage, broken, even when there is rain, there is leakage from the roof, that kind of house he used to stay. And whole night, he used to carry one umbrella and sit in, umbrella on his head and chanting. The sevak used to tell Gurudev, let me tell the host, uh, they have to fix this, because how are you going to sleep all night? He said, no. Don't disturb them. They work all day. We are not here to disturb them. We will tell them in the morning. And he used to sit with umbrella on all night and chanting. And, naturally, obviously, if Gurudev is there in the house, devotees will come and Harikatha will be there, Prashada will be served. And those uh, families, very poor, they are hand to mouth. And now they are serving the congregation coming there. <coughs> Somehow they take loan from their friends and you know they will repay you later. But now it's opportunity to serve Vaishnavas. And it's so auspicious. Krishna Katha is happening at home. Kirtan is there. Vaishnavas are visiting. So one who is the host, he takes all Sukritis from everyone. <laughs> it's not that easy. They take Sukritis from everyone. And if we don't contribute anything, we are losing that. So we have to maintain, be careful. So, when Srila Babu Gosai Maharaj, because obviously after Harikatha, everyone gives donation. That's a system. Is that giving donation is also called service, according to one's capacity. So everyone used to give him donation because he's Gurudev. So while, when he used to leave that house, he used to keep all donations under a pillow and not even telling the grasthas, that householders, that I am leaving that money under the pillow, his own pillow. Yeah. And after one or two days, when the householder used to call, saying that, oh, Gurudev has got money, his donations, he used to say, no. That was for you. I intentionally kept this money because I don't want to be burdened on your family. I understand your position. You're not in a position to host programs because you know your work situation is very poor. And I don't want to become burdened. My only purpose was there to water the plant, the seed the heart of the devotees. So he used to keep money under his pillow. Many, many stories like this. And then, <coughs> I personally witnessed one uh, pastime. He was in Delhi. Nishi Chaitanya Gaudiya, very small center, very near to station, railway station. Srila Bhagavan Goswami Maharaj was there. And some of Srila Gurudev's uh, disciples, when we heard that he is there, we all went to see him. Yeah. And everyone was giving donations to him because then he is leaving. He is trained, going to, uh, I think, Siliguri or Calcutta, I forgot. 
and the temple in charge. Mm. Temple in charge, he came with an envelope with a donation and is giving to Shila Mohammed Goswami Maharaj. And Maharaj asked, What is this? He said, Maharaj, we are so fortunate. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting emotional when I remember this scene. With such humble mood, he approached, he said, You are such a big acharya of Korea Vedan Samiti. It's our great fortune that you came to us and you stayed by us for some days. So Maharaj, here's some humble donation to you because you came here. Srila Ram Goswami Maharaj said, I never learned from my Gurudev to act like this. My Gurudev always taught me, wherever you go, serve them. I cannot take this donation from you. Whereas, what I've got, all this donation from my devotees here, I'm handing over to you. He was, start, his heart melted and started crying. Say, no, 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 this, is, this belongs to you. I'm, I'm like your disciple, you're like my Gurudev. I cannot do this. Please take this donation from our center. Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj used to say, I never learned this. Because I have not done any service to your center, how can I live without seva? I have never learned to live without seva in my life. And he used to say, this body, my body is what? Uchishta, remnant of Vaishnava seva. It's remnant of Vaishnava seva. So I have never learned this. So don't interrupt in my seva, in my mood. Ah, so take this. So he was very smart. When Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj ordered him to take this, he obeyed that order and he kept it in his pocket. And then after one minute, he took out that money. Along with that envelope, he said, You are my Gurudev. You teaching me to always serve. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's that envelope and here's that money. And this is offering to you. Then Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj smiled. And he accepted that. Why accepted that? Because in the realm of seva, acceptance is also seva and giving is also seva. You understand his definition? Acceptance is seva and giving is seva. Of course, giving is seva, but acceptance is seva is something new. On the Vyas Puja of Srila Bhakti Udhan Vaman, Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Goswami Maharaj in Chandigarh. There were so many people standing in line, like two hours in line, and offering him garland, and cloths, and gifts, and money, etc., donations. <coughs> and after this Vyas Puja offering is done, the mic was given to Srila Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Goswami Maharaj. And very first thing he said, all of you don't think I'm foolish that I'm here sitting on a seat to receive all your worships. You're worshipping me to receive all the gifts and donations from you. I'm not that foolish. I'm here to serve all of you. You all serving me and by accepting all this from you I'm serving all of you. Acceptance is also service. Understand? Like once upon a time Srila Maharaj was taking bath in uh, I think Ganga and one old Mataji came and wants to offer something like songs or something to Srila Maharaj. And he learned from his Gurudev, don't accept anything from non-devotees. So he said no to that Mataji. But his Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Dev, Madhav Goswami Maharaj was also standing there. And he told Srila Bhakti Vidyan Bharti Maharaj, take him, take from her. So the order is there, so he accepted this. And when Mataji, when she uh, left, Srila Bharti Goswami Maharaj asked his Guru Maharaj, 
you always telling us don't take from non devotees she is not a devotee she wanted to give something so i just obeyed you by saying no but you said to take that i took from her but i don't understand your meaning then she loved mother ko say mother said we don't have to disturb her service mood seeing you as a sadhu she wanted to serve you and if you don't accept things from her she will never learn in her life that one we always have to supposed to serve sadhus huh? understand by accepting from her <coughs> from her you teaching her or inspiring her to always maintain this service mood to the sadhus these are very subtle points you know so acceptance is service giving is service this is a very sweet relationship we generally from the gross level we think giving is service but acceptance is equally important suppose you cook something for me you took 2 hour in kitchen to cook went to market buy something and cook for me and if you give some uh, uh, you cook for me and offer to me and if i reject no i don't want how you feel you feel good about this no. that means i'm hurting you that means i'm offending you that means i'm not serving you but if you bring something with love and affection if i accept from you that means i'm pleasing your heart and pleasing heart means i'm serving you that's why acceptance is also called service this is this is spiritual terminology from material perspective is different is from spiritual perspective so nar hari seva vigra prabhu ha huh. his whole life dedicated to serve shri chaitanya math the heart of shila bhakti siddhan prabhupad in serving all associates of prabhupad so he became his intense pain became so weak he was not able to digest anything not even water he when he was drinking water passing not even water but he is not telling anyone he is just holding back his issues with him he is not telling anyone but he what is came to know this and they inform param gurudev shri bhakti pragyan keshav goswami maharaj the nar hari seva vigra prabhu is very sick but he is not telling and even in that sickness he is maintaining his services of service all areas param gurudev came running and told nar hari seva vigra prabhu i heard you are very sick let me take to your doctor i will be your doctor bad He said, "No, no, no. Who told you? I'm good. Just little, some, some little issues. No, it's not a big thing." Yeah. Param Guru they said, "I request you, please come with me." And every time he was refusing. Every time refusing. But they all seeing how he is suffering because of that problem. but why he is not accepting that proposal of param guru dev going to doctor because he don't want to waste a single penny of chaitanya math every single penny of the center is for the service of krishna and you don't want to use that on him this thing is disease comes disease goes how long this will trouble me some days no problem I will tolerate this. I can't waste money. Param Guru Dev was also like this. So Narhari Seva Vigra Prabhu was refusing Param Guru Dev every time. His refusal is also love. <laughs> this is the language of love. Refusal is also love. acceptance is love and refusal is also love depends on circumstances 
परम गुरुदेव सीनियर गॉड ब्रदर ऑफ नर हरि सेवा विग्रह प्रभु एंड इज रिफ्यूजिंग दिस सीनियर गॉड ब्रदर बिकॉज़ दिस इज ऑल अबाउट लव एंड सर्विंग श्री प्रभु का सेंटर सेविंग एवरी सिंगल पेनी टू मेंटेन दैट व्हेन देयर वाज फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस इन दोस केस देन परम गुरुदेव सर he came up with one sentence he told that hari seva vigra prabhu oh now i understand now i understand why you not going to doctor because you, you want to teach everyone what is the meaning of renunciation and moment param gurudev said this sentence nar hari seva vigra prabhu said take me immediately to doctor understand why is it what you understand amit in this conversation because nar hari seva prabhu ji maharaj ji didn't want to set this as an example of initiation they didn't want to set this as an example of initiation for because of fear of pratishta name and fame <coughs> param guru dev is <coughs> saying now i understand <coughs> why you don't want to go to doctor because you want to teach the whole world what is the idol of renunciation now everyone will come to know what is the meaning of renunciation so fear of that that i'll be famous people will say oh nar hari seva you will be you are such a renounced person because of that fear he said no i will immediately take me to doctor before he was not going for seva now he wants to go again for seva vigraha is embodiment of seva so when param guru then took him to doctor doctor checked his pulse and he said oh he has major issues and the remedy is very simple make him drink ghee param guru they want <laughs> he can't even digest water <clears throat> what to speak of any kind of food huh? and you are you telling to make him drink ghee he said yes that's my formula to cure him so what kind of funny formula is this so doctor explained his intestines are very weak and i know if he drink ghee he will again going through the same problem of diarrhea but something good will happen <clears throat> i know in the beginning it will be diarrhea he can't digest water what to speak of ghee but that ghee will start making his intense tank strong by getting along with the walls of the intestines intestines are getting strong gradually get strong and then will be healthy to digest any other food that's the formula about param gurudev was very impressed because he was very renowned doctor is not foolish to say like that very renowned and expert so and this treatment was been give, started given to shri narhari seva vigra prabhu and exactly that happened he became strong after some days and he was normal understand this we heard from shri gurudev <coughs> i've never seen him in my life i'm very unfortunate but we heard from gurudev this story of narhari seva vigra prabhu and gurudev used to say my preaching of radha consciousness <laughs> is backed by one of my acharya one of my authority shri <coughs> nar hari seva vigra prabhu <coughs> taking his as example i am speaking about radha dasam even to those who are not even qualified to hear 
This question must be asked to Gurudev. Every time you speaking about Radha Rani, so many details, so many in depth. They are not qualified. They don't even, they don't even know how to eat. <laughs> they don't even know how to eat. They don't even know how to shower. Are you telling so many details of Radha Rani to them? Shri Guru Dev used to say, "Nar Hari Seva Vidra Prabhu is my idol." I know <coughs> they can't digest this. <coughs> it will be diarrhea. But after hearing this again, this is like a ghee, very powerful. <laughs> after hearing this again, again and again, their intestine, their digestion becomes strong. You understand? So Gurudev is was acting, is acting like that Ayurvedic doctor <coughs> with that formula. I know it will be diary at the beginning, <laughs> but this will be an impression, a samskar in the heart. Even not qualified. But always keep in. They will keep in the head. What is the, <coughs> what is our goal? Not less than. What? To become the maid servant of Radha Rani. Not less than that. Even if Krishna comes, and say, come with me, and I'll take you to Vaikuntha and Golok Vrindavan. Say, learn how to say no to him. <laughs> yes, Guru Dev. Okay, immediately. Your sadhana is not complete. I can, I can take you to Vaikuntha. No, it's not that easy to say no. <laughs> Going Vaikuntha means, understand? <laughs> it's something very high. No disease, no death, no old age. Yeah. But in comparison with what is the goal of God, your Vishnus, this is insignificant. <clears throat> so, no to Krishna. Even if Radharani, if she becomes pleased to us and say, Oh, come, I'll make you my Sakhi, my Gopi. Say no to Radharani also. Huh? Also to Radharani, it's offensive. No, no, she will like it. Because then you have to say, What? Sakhai tumam namastu namastu nityam dasyas tumam Rasas to Rasas to Satyam. Sri Raghunath Das Goswami is saying, All glories and my obeisances to that position of becoming your girlfriend, your gopi, your sakhi. But I am happy only to become your maid servant. That's all. I don't want anything less than that. <coughs> I don't want anything less than that. That's only our object. So Srila Gurudev said, I have no fear telling everyone this is our aim and object. Serving Vishavikraha means Krishna, the object of worship, under the subject of worship means Radharani Ashavikraha. With the mood for body of Vaishnavas, the subject of worship, Ashavikraha is the object of worship. Understand? Hmm. Asha Vigra, the subject of worship, is our object of worship. <coughs> this is our line. God of Asha line. So, <coughs> Srila Gurudev said, I took this from Nar Hari Seva Vigra Prabhu. This is some little glories to remember. Sri Nar Hari Seva Vigra Prabhu to uh, invoke his blessings wherever he is. Please bless us with his service. Uh, so that we can also serve and serve and serve to make our life most blessed and successful life. And it cannot be possible without service. It cannot be. Chadiya Vaishnav Seva Nistar Pechikeva. There is no one in this history of all our Acharyas who ever left their, uh, lived their life without serving Vaishnavas. Srila Gurudev. Shri Ramu Goswami Maharaj, Shri Bharti Goswami Maharaj, all Acharyas, they throw their life and understand what is the fruit of Seva? You know that? Yes. The fruit of Seva is more Seva will come on you. <laughs> it's an endless <coughs> process. 
with more responsibilities, then more saver. Then more responsibilities, more saver. Then more responsibilities, then more saver. Because there is no saturation of seva or bliss for spiritual life. There is saturation of any happiness, any kind of happiness in material life. Yeah. Always a saturation of every enjoyment. But in spiritual life, service will not stop. It will begin from grooming and cleaning. And that grooming and cleaning will also go all the way to Golok Vrindavan. And also what is happening there? Service is happening there. Everyone is serving there. Krishna is fond of serving. Mm. Krishna gets restless. And he also gets inspired to serve. And when Krishna comes as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what he do? Serving. He is putting chandan. Uh, forehead of all devotees, giving garland, paying obeisances, cleaning Gundicha temple. Uh, Krishna wants to enjoy that service too. So, in regard to that, also another, uh, sorry, also one of Srila Prabhupada, <coughs> very dear disciple, Sri Srimad Bhakti Vaibhav, Puri Gosai Maharaj, is also taking today seen him a couple of times. He used to call me my friend. Mm. <laughs> Years back, 1994 95, uh, me and my godmother, Mother Priya <coughs> we used to visit him, especially in Jagannath Puri. Uh, we used to serve one sannyasi, me and my godmother, and he used to take us to all the acharyas. So he took us to Srila Bhakti Vaibhapuri Goswami Maharaj, very beautiful pastime. So much lesson of service in this. <coughs> it was Prashottam month in Jagannath Puri Dham, I think 95 or 96, I don't remember the year exactly. But we were not initiated that time. And we used to serve Iskhan sannyasis. So he took us, so Maharaj and both of us, in Prashottam month in Puri, and we went uh, we went to see Srila Bhakti Vaibha Puri Goswami Maharaj in his center. And immediately seeing us, we paid obeisances to him, he said, why you are here in Jagannath Puri? said, because this is Purshottam Kshetra. He said, but Purshottam is not giving darshan. Because that's the time of changing of Sri Jagannath. So darshan closed for one month. He said, you are in Purshottam Dham, where Purshottam is Jagannath is not giving darshan. Then what is the use of staying in Purshottam Dham when Purshottam is not giving darshan? So, we were very young that time, very new to Krishna first. So we don't know how to answer this. So that <coughs> Maharaj, he answered, he said, Purushottam is not giving darshan, but the devotees of Purushottam giving beautiful darshans. <laughs> and he smiled. And I was very impressed to hear this. <clears throat> he said, okay, Harikatha. He started speaking Harikatha. And his Harikatha is like non-stop going flow, 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 non-stop. His servant came and stopped him. <coughs> and he was in advanced stage. In his uh, rest chair, he was sitting. He said, now you get sick if you speak more. You get sick if you speak more. And he said, what is your problem? You go. <laughs> it's my health. What is your problem? Yeah. And then again he's continuing his lecture, speaking, speaking, speaking. And almost like three hours, he spoke Chaitanya Chaitanya. He said, we said, okay Maharaj, your servant is coming again and again and we understand. You know, so sorry to disturb you. He said, how can you go without prasadam? Now it's time for prasadam. So he told his servant, uh, I forgot his name. Brajanandan Prabhu, he said, 
Go and get Jagannath Mahaprasad for them. Go on your bicycle and get Mahaprasad for them. Meanwhile, they will be here for Arati and bring Prasad. <coughs> so his Sevak receiving order immediately on bicycle, Jagannath temple, and he brought, you know, very nice prasadam. And three of us was being served with that Jagannath Mahaprasad. And Mara used to come with his stick in the prasadam hall to check if we are served nicely or not. <laughs> what is this? This is called service. To see if Vaishnavas are happy or if they have served nicely, properly or not. Serving is also art. So, Srila Bharti Goswami Maharaj also used to go visit everyone, seeing if everyone, and Srila Gurudev also used to visit Navdev Dham Parikrama, thousands of devotees. So to check is also service. If they are served nicely or not. And he used to, with his stick, he used to say, give more, give more. <laughs> say, Maharaj, you are full. Oh, you are in Purushottam Dham. Eat up to here. <laughs> And then he gave a proposal. He said, so, you coming tomorrow again? <laughs> he said, Maharaj, if you allow us, he said, yes, come every day, Asvi Harikata. Come for whole one month, he used to go, like three o'clock, <coughs> and he's speaking Harikata, three to six, sometimes five thirty, like that, two hour, three hour Harikata. And every day he said, for one month, we have to honor Mahaprasad here. Here, in our temple. And we are honored to serve Vaishnavas. So humble. Imagine, of his status, his profile, he is Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada disciple. You understand? And me and my God Buddha, we are not even initiated. Young boys, like 25 years old. 24, 25. And then Maharaji is also so young, but he's giving so much respect and regard. Why? Because we were hearing his Harikatha. We used to hear so attentively and sincerely his Harikatha, seeing that they are so much inclined to hear my Harikatha, I must serve them. This shows his heart and his mood of serving Vaishnavas. Speak, <coughs> speaking Harikatha is also called serving Vaishnavas. But he was not only giving Harikatha, he was also giving us prasadam for complete one month. Imagine. After one or two, three days, we say, okay, now. And he used to speak Chaitanya Chaitamit. And in that Chaitanya Chaitamit, when he's describing the glories of Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, oh, what was that scene? Crying. Tears was flowing from his eyes. He used to grow with his cloth and wipe his tears like this. And sometimes he's forgetful of wiping his tears. His saver used to come and wipe his tears with a cloth. Speaking, Mahaprabhu Leela, Raghunath Das Goswami Leela, all his pastimes for one month. And then, as etiquette, as a tradition, as a custom, as a system, Maharaj, that was our last day of Pushwatta month, and next day was our train going back to Vrindavan Dham. So that Maharajji, he took wallet and he took some donation, big stack of donation. And he gave to Shila Bhakti Baba Puri Goswami. Okay, on his lap like this. And when Shila Bhakti Baba Puri Goswami saw this, he said, What is this? Say, Maharaj, one month we heard Harikatha from you. One month ah, you gave us such beautiful Jagannath Prashad every day, new and new and new items, Mahaprasad. Some humble. Uh, donation from us. He became so angry and upset. So angry, I can't explain. The first time we received this anger to such a high Vaishnav, uh -huh, shaking. 
Even Maharaj because he was shaking his said, take your money back. You value my Hari Katha, my love with your money? You value my affection with that money? Is this is a restaurant, is a hotel that you have to pay for eating here? Oh, he was. <laughs> we were just looking at his face and he was so angry. His face became red. Especially when he said, you value my affection with the money? That was my affection. I saw you sincere, you recipient, hearing Harikatha. And because of that I was inspired. That was my love. And you value my love with that money? Then he said, no, no, Maharaj, no. It's not like that. I'm so sorry if you felt like that, but... Uh, he was speaking English, like three hours English Harikatha. <coughs> because that Maharaj was English. So he said, no, no, this is just as a etiquette, as a system. This is for your temple. It's not for prasadam or harikatha. Because first he said something like this. So this is for your center, for service of deities. And this is some seva. So when he said, and you saw our face also become pale, <laughs> then he accepted that. He accepted that. And again, that acceptance is also seva. But with that, he gave us a very good lesson. And this shows, because he's Acharya, he always show by their example. <coughs> Such a good lesson. You value my Harikatha with, with money. <coughs> but in this example, who is right and who is wrong? That Maharaj with us, I mean, we were with him. When he offered some donation, was he wrong? And Shri Bhakti Devu Kurigoshan Maharaj, was he wrong? Both were playing their own role. When we were giving donations to him, we were playing our role as a disciple, as a listener, as an audience. Because how can we leave that place without serving? <clears throat> we cannot serve in any other way. You know? We are not getting a chance to massage him, to clean his temple, etc. Whatever we can do is, we have some donations and we offer. So that was service. And there was ne we never thought of like valuing his harikatha with that donation, with money. You can't value harikatha with money. If you give two million dollars, one billion dollars is not you know, looks like a big amount, no doubt. But in comparison with that Harikatha, it is insignificant like a sesame seed. It's so insignificant. You can't value that. But the mood of giving the donation was to serve him and the center. So, Maharaj who was giving donation, is supposed to give donation. Because of service. And his teaching and refusal, his refusal to accept that money and become angry is also to teaching us. That's also service. Teaching is also service. When you educate someone, when you teach someone, you are serving. <coughs> Literally, it appears a disciple serve one's Gurudev. Looks like that. But it's other way around. It's Guru who serve disciple. But that is not seen. Disciple for bringing prasadam, washing cloths, massaging, etc. 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 <coughs> Looks like disciple is serving Gurudev. But from a subtle vision, if you see, Guru serves disciple. That's a subtle vision. That's not seen. How Gurudev is serving disciple? Okay. Many of your kids at home, 
Is kids serving you or are you serving kids as parents? Parents serving kids. But kids also serving you. How? They're giving you emotions, right? You feel love, you feel emotions when kids are there. So, with that relationship of that emotions and love, they uh, serve their parents. And parents, they nurture kids, they nourish them, raise them, so they also serve kids. So that's why disciple also serving Gurudev, no doubt, but more than disciple, Gurudev is serving disciple. Parents serve more. Kids are serving because of X, Y, Z reasons, emotions, feel, love, etc. But parents serve more. Similarly, Guru serves disciple by making the disciple qualified and eligible to serve direct Radha Krishna. If Krishna appears in front of you, what are you going to do? <sighs> oh, what to do? What to do? <laughs> So who's teaching? And if Krishna says, uh, I'm hungry, give me some fruits. And if you're not educated in that area of service, how are you going to treat Krishna? How are you going to offer Krishna? So who teach this? Gurudev. Every details he teaches. Every detail, how to serve prasadam, uh, how to sleep, how to get up, how to eat, every single details, making us qualified. Guru is not selfish, his mood is not selfish, his mood is not to just selfishly taking you know the services from disciple. No, that's a very gross, very, very gross understanding. By allowing the disciple to serve him, Guru is giving him education, educating him. How you have to properly serve and understand the subtle dealings, the journey from the gross to subtle. Understand? So Gurudev, Guru, <coughs> nurtured disciple. Not only with Harikatha, but with details of how to serve everyone. So many details in that. Many, many details in that. <coughs> but one more thing before I end. Srila Bhakti Baba Puri Goswami Maharaj, whenever he used to stay in Sri Vrindavan Dham, that was his everyday custom. Before sunset, he used to go and worship Sri Jamuna Maharaj, Holy River Jamuna. Now, it's a very, if I start speaking, please, it's a very elaborate. <laughs> because who can give us entrance into that? Loving service of Krishna. Krishna, no. Asya Vigra. Tadiya Vastu. Subject of Asya. Vrinda Devi, Jamna Maharani, Kiraj Govarda. Vrinda Devi, she gives entrance <coughs> to the service of Radha Rani. Radha Krishna pastimes. Jamuna Maharani being Vishaka Sati can give entrance to service of Radha Krishna. And Giraj Govardhan, Haridas Varjyo, the best amongst all Haridas, give us entrance into the service of Radha Krishna. 
All our acharyas, they follow this importance and gravity to Asya Vigraha over the Vishya Vigras means Krishna. Means Krishna becomes secondary. Understand? And the Asya Vigraha becomes prominent. Srila Gurudev, Ava Srila Gurudev, Bhaktivara Narayan Goswami Maharaj, that's the reason he installed along with Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna, Radha Vinod Bihari, in Vrindavan Shirup Sanatan Gaudimar. If you go, what you see? It's not only Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna, but Vrinda Sati, next to Radha Krishna. Because only she can give us entrance to that realm of serving Radha Krishna. And in Mathura, he installed Jamuna Maharani, deity of Jamuna Maharani. Understand? And in Giraj Govardhan, he installed Giraj. These three are so prominent. Srila Bhakti Gava Puri Goswami Maharaj going every, every day afternoon to worship Jamuna Maharani. We used to see him along with a couple of his disciples, Sanyasi, Brahmachari, Drastas, taking flowers, arati, and offer to Sri Jamuna Maharani some sweets every day, without a failure. Even if it is uh, hot, cold, or rain, whatever, storm, whatever it is. Every day, without failure, praying to Jamuna Maharani. Mampu Nathu Sarvada Ravinda Bandhu Nandani Mampu Nathu Sarvada Ravinda Bandhu Nandani Praying to Jamna Maharani for what? She can give us entrance to that. Ah, the Kunjas, the service of Radha Krishna. Shinarottam Thakur taught us in his song Shirupa Manjari Pada Sei Mora Sampada Sei Mora Bhaja Napujana If you go details into this song, <coughs> Shri Bharti Goswami Maharaj used to say, Narottam Thakur writing, singing this song is giving us the hint a diet that what is the aim and object of Gaudiya Vishnu's. The aim and object of Gaudiya Vishnu, although serving Krishna, but under shelter of Asya Vidyana. But they go far beyond that. The aim and object of Gaudiya Vishnu is to serve Asya Vidyana. So he is praying for Shirupa Manjari Pada, the lotus feet of Shirupa Manjari. And then, like in song, Sei Vrata Sei Tapa, Sei Mora Mantra Japa. <coughs> the lotus feet of Shirupa Manjari is my Vrata. We never do Vrata for uh, Asha Vigra. We only do Vrata for Vishya Vigra. Like all incarnations of Krishna and Krishna, Ram, Narsinga, Vara, etc. But we don't fast for Radha Shri, do we? If we start following this, then every single day is fasting. <laughs> every single day is appearance and disappearance of Acharyas. Then fasting 365 days a Very nice. Good. Detoxifying. Keeping health. Healthy body. So we don't fast. But Narutam Thakur is saying, Sei Vrata Sei Tapa Sei Mora Mantra Japa We don't <coughs> chant mantras of any other. We chant mantra of Krishna. But Sri Rupa Goswami is Sri Rupa Manjari's Service to the divine lotus feet of Sri Rupa Manjari is my Vrata, is my mantra, is my Tapa. And Anukula Habe Vidi Seipa Dehoi Besidi 
Oh, I want to get my Siddhi perfection at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa Mundi. So, direct instruction, this is aim and object of body of Ashtas. The prominence of the spirituality of Asha with the subject of Asha. And by saying this, means all our acharyas, <coughs> they are our object of worship. She Vrinda Sati is object of our worship. She Jamna Maharani's Maharani is object of our worship. She Giraj Govarna is object of worship. And of course, she Radharani is object of worship. And following she Radharani, she Rupa Manjari is our object of worship. So the actions of acharyas, like she Bhakti Vaiba Puri Gosai Maharaj, just by his Looks like an ordinary person with gross mentality can think and say, or oh, maybe he's in the afternoon, he's just, he just wants to go out for a walk. Their walk is not a simple walk like us. Their walk has some reason. And it's not walk. They are going out for? Yeah. Seva. 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 They are going for? Praying to Jamna Maharani, please give me entrance into that realm of service to divine couple, Shishi Radha Gopinath. Jamna Maharani can immediately can take this. Vishakha yeah. Sakhi, so very dear to Radha Rani, immediately can give this. Understand? So this is how they are educating and they are teaching us. So every day, if devotees, I request, if you can follow this, it takes just take 15 minutes. If you read Vrinda Ashtakam, Vrinda Devi Ashtakam in the song book, yeah. and if you can read Jamna Ashtakam and Giraj Ashtakam, three, one, two, three, you feel so much potency. You feel so much. Yeah. If you can't pronounce Sanskrit, doesn't matter, just read the English part, to understand the meaning, what I'm saying, what I'm speaking, that's more important. Jamna Maharani is Kalindi Devi. So, Jamna Ashtakam, Vrinda Devi Ashtakam, and Giraj Govardhan. Very, very powerful. Just take 15 minutes. Just go through one time. 15 minutes only. Morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time. So important. Uh, nowadays is a yeah, facility. Phone. Oh, I'm it's so cold. Who will go out from blanket to get book? But phone is always <laughs> next to the bed. <laughs> so Gaudiya Kirtan app is there. Yeah. Easily type. Gangiya champe tadit vinindi. Rochi Pravaha Sapita Pavinde Bandu Kabandu Namasu Vinde Namaste Chanana Vinde This is done. Next Gira Govardhan Nija Pati Bhuja Danda Chatra Bhava Prapanya Pratika Kahata Vistu Danda Deva Nagarva Atula Pratula She She Nibhupa Priyame Nijanika Nivasam Dehi Goma Dhanata Nijanika Ta Nivasam Dehi Goma Dhanata Nijanika Ta Nivasam Dehi Goma And Jamna Marani Bratu Rasya Kasya Patani Vipati Harani Adi Papi Noki Papa Sindhu Tas Nira Madhuri Biyapa Shesha Chitta Vandani Mampunantu Sarvadara Vinda Vandu Nandani To read every day, you will love this. Then no need phone, no need any app. Very good practice. Just start singing this. And I think one month or two months, you will learn this. So if we are very sincere, we are serious, the only way to get proximity with service of Radha Krishna is by singing this Ashtakams.
and of course <coughs> very indebted to acharyas like shila bhakti vigyan puri goswami maharaj shila gurudev shila bhakti vigyan bharti goswami maharaj was teaching us this is our bhajan and this bhajan makes us strong makes us propulsion <coughs> so on this very special day thanking all of you to come and give me this opportunity <coughs> to spend my time speaking the glories of these two prominent disciples of the bhakti siddhanta sri kapil gopal and we all pray the divine lotus feet these two acharyas please bless us with sprinkle of that <coughs> mercy of that seva mood which you had for your guru dev may we have this mood for our guru dev hari krishna thank you hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari
श्री नरहरि सेवा मित्र प्रभु की जय समस्त रूपानुगा गुरुवर्ग की जय शिला गुरुदेव की जय जगत गुरु शिला प्रभुपाद की जय सपाश सचिन नंदन गौर हरि की जय पिताय गौर पिमानंदे Many of you attended Florida Bhagavad Sapta. Yes? yes. How was it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So, there's another plan, but not in Florida. There's another Bhagavad Sapta. If anyone wants to join us, it's going to be from 27th June. We have many months ahead. Announcement. <coughs> <coughs> and that's going to be happening in Guyana. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, let me tell you, it's a very beautiful country. It's Caribbean? Yes. yes. Kind of, yes. It's, it's off the coast. It's, it's the coast. from Miami, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's a very beautiful yeah. country, very, very green, very beautiful. So there's wow. a new temple. Uh, I was just, uh, I'm coming from there, inaugurating that temple, very beautiful temple. Uh, everything and devotees are very excited when I <coughs> ask them that if we can arrange something like that and they're very excited. So if there is any plan, we are going. Let us know in advance so that I can inform devotees so they can arrange accommodation and other uh, facilities for devotees. So it's not in US. You have to go out from US. So if but we can't. Prepare, we can't go right. <laughs> huh? We can't go right. Oh, we are. We also. We can't go. We, can't. Uh, we have to see our lawyer first. No, we can't go. Okay, just oh was an announcement. So, <laughs> if there is any uh, interest, let us know. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.